Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And we had just finished last night our first mission with Eddie. We got him on the team now. So in order to activate the next day's mission, we have to go to sleep and then start the whole day over again. This game gets a little repetitive in this regard, but it's okay. We got it down to a routine now and a science. And so we can hopefully speed through some of this now a little bit quicker. Although the missions we take Eddie on, I probably will take my time with because I want to have fun with the character. And we'll probably add, we did Spider-Man in the last episode as our teammate with, with Eddie. So in this episode, we'll probably do Deadpool because we need to take Deadpool on two more missions in order to unlock or create the food truck <laughs> so we can add the taco truck to the Abbey here. So first we got to check the map, go to Superlink, see who's emailing us, nobody. Okay, good. And then we go to map and see who we got to talk to. So Nico wants to talk to us, and Iron Man wants to talk to us. Okay, what's up? Huh? Huh? Not bad, Real right? new abilities. Oh, look at that. We got a symbiote bind. Cool. Okay, so we own four chain attacks. We own one of those. Yeah, let's get a fourth chain attack, and let's get a new symbiote card. Nice. Awesome. Let's uh, let's see if we can power up Eddie. Choose a training partner. Yeah, look at that. This could be carnage. You look how big he is. <laughs> awesome. Oh, look at that. We can edit the photo, too, if we wanted. Eh. I think this is good. I just wanted to get a good look at it. That's cool. Nice. And we got the portal in the background. Sweet. How do we do this? Let me get to where the portal is right behind us. There we go. Nice. Okay, confirm and edit, or confirm and exit. And let's not waste any time. Let's just go right to the mission. So I think we still got to stay in New York. Oh man, but we can't requires a general mission to be completed. So let's go defeat some vampires. And we got to bring Iron Man with us. So this could be cool. So we got Iron Man, Venom, Cool. And we can bring Deadpool. That will be fun. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at these guys. Holy cow. Venom's huge, man. He looks awesome. Let's do it. Because we need... They, they, they force us to bring... <laughs> I just love Eddie's in a tank top. He's just coming through with a muscle shirt on. <laughs> um, while everyone else is in costume. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we have to, they're forcing us to use Iron Man, and we have to use Deadpool to Show get the no mercy. So, um, we'll pair up. I want to do Ghost Rider with uh, Spider-Man and Venom, so we can kind of reenact the Spirits of Venom comic book. So. All right. So, let's see. We got Death from Above. That won't kill him. I can do that. Boom. I should probably feel bad about that. <laughs> Death from above. Is this thing's gonna spit out three more vampires if we don't I know that wasn't your signature move. <laughs> Tell me. That better not have been your signature move. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, he actually jumped off. I thought he was going to kick the crates at the dude. All right. Thought we could have done something cool there, but... Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to get tagged a lot. Because I think now more... Plan looks good. Oh, wait. Maybe we can kill that thing before it dies. I mean, before it spawns. Um, 
Let's hit that thing twice. Ooh. Oh, I wish the angle would have changed so we could have saw like a, a wide shot of that. That's all right. Life steal. Ooh, that almost kills that one. Look at that. Nice. A good move. Oh no, and we didn't do it in time. God dang it. <laughs> oh man. Does that mean the other one's gonna... Oh. Okay. Alright, so that one's gone. No, 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 no. Dang it. Oh, okay, well. We just didn't act fast enough. We got two different vampires now on the map. Well, that was a weird glitch. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, I'll just edit that part out. Um, it said, "It's it said, Seek, you need a controller to play this game. And I'm like, I have a controller. <laughs> it's in my hands. And we're currently using it. <laughs> so, that yeah, was weird. All right, let's get him and throw him in the back. Oh, wipe both of them out. Nice. Good job, Venom. Dude, he's so big. He's, he looks so awesome. He just looks so awesome. All together now. Bad luck for you, friendo. <laughs> you could all see that too, right? Surgical strike. Do it. Here we go. So you can use that up to like three or four enemies. So you can see him he's blasting like three or four times. So if there was more enemies on the map, I could just hit each enemy once or do like two blasts on one enemy and two on another. Split it up however it. I want. Excellent work. But that was nice. So those are fun. That's just like a little side mission that they put in there. I'd say they're optional, but they're not really because sometimes you have to do one to unlock a story mission like we had to tonight. So we had to play that one in order to unlock the next story mission with Venom. So now that that's done, we have to go back to the Abbey, talk to whoever we got to talk to, and then we'll go to bed and wake up and we repeat everything we just did almost in order. It's, it's like I said, this game, it's it, the premise is neat and the, the world is neat, but unfortunately it's very repetitive. Once After you get like five or six hours into the game, you just find yourself doing the same thing over and over and over. So you got to you got to shake it up in order to um, make it feel less repetitive. I know this isn't my place, but I'm worried about how everyone is treating Wanda. Oh. Everyone seems very happy to have her back. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. A short time ago, she was a sock puppet for the mother of demons. We're acting like she's already back to normal. But she may never be normal again. Is that your experience, dude? When we were first released from Lilith's control. Badly. I'm still figuring it out. I'm used to having another voice in my head, but Wanda didn't have a symbiote to keep her company. If you spoke with her, maybe you could help her through this. I don't know if I should do that. I'm no psychiatrist. Maybe you were right. We do not want to overwhelm her. For sure. A little whelming goes a long way. Just keep an eye on her, Hunter. She's hurting. Even if she doesn't know how to show it. Alright. Got a friendship point with him. I wasn't sure what to say there that would make him... You know, like, be more agreeable with us. But, uh... Eh, it doesn't matter. And I plus Ace was like chewing on something. I had to check on him and then I was getting a drink. So I was like half paying attention. That's all right. So now that we got that out of the way, we just jump into bed here, go to sleep, and then we'll wake up the next day. Spider-Man has been healed. And I think Iron Man just took a beating in that last one. So he might be bleeding now. So we'll have to take him into the jacuzzi and let him heal for the day. Oh, well, we got Captain Marvel to talk to. 
like a Wolverine. And the church bells were going off. That's interesting. Is someone down at the church? Oh, no. All right. Yep. What have you got? We got another boss? canister. One might have venom stuff in it. Let's see. Right. These should definitely give you Boom! Damage. Lethal Embrace. If target has full health, plus 96 damage. Ooh, I like that. Boom, headshot. Surgical strike. Symbiote senses. We already have two of them, so we don't really need a third one. So we need... We only have one of those. We'll take that and that. Nice. All right, back to the mission board. To go back to New York. Making amends. Venom and the Hunter are automatically put on the team okay what are you doing i think i'm getting the hang of this thing uh, what do three squiggly lines mean it means <laughs> you should step away before sarah notices okay so the squiggly lines just flashed red is that bad yes actually what is going on what is going on vampires attacking civilians oh in central, central park, park huh well that means All we're right. up right Innocents are in danger. We gotta take care of this right now. Eddie, I agree completely. Ah, oh, first time I've heard that in years. Come on, let's do some <laughs> lethal protection. <laughs> Alright, well, who should we bring with us? Because I kind of wanted to... Oh, it's just going to let us bring these two. That's it, okay. Well, that's, that's alright. I should change the hunter's suit. He, I have a symbiote costume. Maybe we'll do that in the next episode. Still we'll feels good we'll put on the symbiote costume control. that the hunter wears. It's weird looking. Imagine. He kind of looks like a poison a little bit. Um, but we'll, I don't know, maybe we'll try it out. Clear now. Did you see her glitch out? Yourself. She was like moving at like four Trust frames me. per second. No uh, that's, that was interesting. Ever again. All right. Going into limbo. Yeah, I didn't get to look around last time we walked through here. There we go. Limbo, and there's Eddie Brock just walking in his jeans, sneakers. He's got his kicks on, and he's got his tank top. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's dive into battle. Um, yeah, I was hoping to bring a third member. I was thinking about bringing Ghost Rider, but I probably would have brought Deadpool just to complete that side mission and unlock the, the food truck. But that's okay. Us being just the two of us. So this this character here, like, they, they reuse him a lot. And the first time I saw him, it was from a distance, so I thought it was Miles Morales. Um, but it's after I saw him a couple more times, I was like, okay, it's not Miles. But Oh! Dang. You're welcome. That's awesome. <laughs> You're welcome. Cute couple. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> he's such a goofball. I actually, I <laughs> actually like that. I like when Eddie's just kind of goofy and weird. Uh, maybe it's because of Tom's performance has helped uh, me think that way a little bit more. But I, I don't know. I like it. it. Gives him personality. All right, defeat all the vampires to protect the civilians. Oh, there's so many vampires. Oh, and some of them have feeding frenzy on. Okay. All right. So here we go. We got enemies everywhere we got civilians we got to take these guys out quickly so let's see what we got Good. All right. So what else? We got one card left. Um. 
Lilith herself could not best me. What makes you think you will oh, fare good. any better? Oh, good. card back. Thanks. Going to get you for okay. this. Oh, and now we got reinforcements. God dang. Okay. This is going to be tough. All right. Andrew, we can clean it to two. So can we take out... Try not to I'm trying to, like, kill... Which ones are aimed at civilians? Okay, so right now they're all aimed at the hunter. Ha! Oh, you meant that? This is our turn. Oh, nice. Okay. Doesn't smell very tasty. Cool. Kill both of them without using a card. That's a good. That's good. Very good. All right. Um. Holy burst. And I guess I have to use it on him. Because I don't want to risk him, like, can't be like killing any of the humans. But the downside is I have... I don't know. There's a... Let's do a redraw with the heal. See if it gives us an attack. Uh, of course it does, but not a strong attack. Let's... Here we go. Right. Uh, this is a mean knock back. We talked about that in the last episode. But that's okay because I'm not trying to knock it back. I just want to hit it so we don't waste a, a, a turn or a move. Oh, we don't have enough to. Oh, yep, yep. We don't got enough. Okay. I have spotted enemy so I keep waiting for that thing to like erupt with three more vampires coming out of it, but it looks like it's going to give us one more chance. I don't mind you enjoying a little payback. Just remember why you're there. Stop nagging us. We will deal with the problem. Now you are starting to stop. Oh. I knew I should have kept you two apart. <laughs> no, dang it! We didn't get it in time again. But I, now I think the sack. Is, yeah, okay. The incubation sack is gone. Okay. Oh, oh no. I don't know what that is. That doesn't seem good. All right, we're gonna do a combo against this guy. Uh, some kind of animation. Look at this. Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, good, and the hunter leveled up. Already. Sweet. All right. Why? Well, I, I would love to give Venom the last move, but I can't because I don't have an attack card to play. So we'll just play this hot dog cart. And I'll pet Ace on the head. How are you doing, buddy? Well done out there, especially you, Venom. You ate that treat I gave you, huh? Gave Ace a treat, hoping it would uh, calm him down for like 30 minutes while I played this game and downed it in 30 seconds. Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What is this? Mephisto! Oh, it's Mephisto. What are you? Whoa! That's better. Now, Dude, you just Jeff Wingered us. Straight. Well, perhaps one may choose to save the odd civilian. Contractually, in the fight to end the vampire scourge, the spirit of the intended agreement. Oh. Come again. Oh. I did not waste my time curing you so you could save superfluous human lives. Oh, come on, dude. Still boring. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Do I have your attention now? We all know what you really are. A monster. Oh, the only version of you that remotely interests me. And, and he brought some religious dude. He's not going to like the devil messing with him. Stop doing that. Oh, I'll stop. 
but you've earned an object lesson. So I thought vampires Mephisto wanted us to prevent the vampire army rise, vampires keep but he doesn't like us saving innocent people <laughs> while we're doing With it. With their souls, there are more soulless. Do you understand the lesson? Because it's time for some target practice. Oh, buddy. Mm, so you sent the wrong two guys down to hell. <laughs> I just see two of them. Oh, so many targets, and he says, "Oh, I only see two. Already har har. The Let's devil's got dad jokes." All right. I'll give you one chance. Now our health is still up, we so I think we're good. Boys. Mind just bender, target enemy. Them. They will attack the nearest really ally twice. Some dark magic powers. Yes. There we go. Good job, buddy. Mm, won't kill him. Won't kill any of these guys. Well, no mercy for the servants of Willigos. Rush you guys. Okay, so we used up all those. We got okay. throw them into this guy. Yeah. Your fate is sealed. There was a time when Lilith had the highest of standards for her minions. That time. So this is a knockback in any direction. Oh, he's too far from the explodey. Dang it. No, he's not. Nice, and we got both of them and killed the one. Hot dang. Alright, I think I did a pretty good job on that round. Oh, and Venom leveled up. Yes. Much power. Oh, and we got a card refunded. A card play refunded. Nice. Okay. So we can chain two so we can kill him and kill him. How'd that feel, Shakes? Card play refunded again? Oh, this is getting good. Wait, what's Tasty Brains? Oh, Lifesteal. Um... Kill him. Kill him. Or kill him. Not use the explodey thing. Oh, I like the explodey thing, so. Screw it. Here it is. Let's explain this mother effer. Done. We expected more from them. Ooh, card play refunded. So as long as we kill those guys, we get our card play back. Frames. And that's the other thing, we only have a couple cards for Venom, so to... I'm not able to show off like a ton of move for him either. Oh wow, he just leveled up again, just twice in this fight. That's great. Um, yeah, no, that's really good. So, uh, be so because we haven't played with them as much, we don't get... We don't have a ton of cards for him, so we don't have a lot of abilities unlocked for him, so different animations or different attack styles, so... We're a little restricted there, but... It's all right. He's still so awesome looking. Oh, we got another hero combo yes. card, so yes, we'll definitely Tell use them to that. Get you for this. this could be how your legacy ends. Hmm. I don't think so. He is like a lesson. Oh, my legacy ends, bro. Are you kidding me? Uh, so I'm the hunter. Nothing. Maybe you've heard of me. Oh, 
Okay. You are unprepared. Now, release us! There you go. Talk that smack, Venom. Alright. That match was very repetitive, so I'll probably edit that down a little bit, because it was pretty much just like four rounds of the same amount of enemies coming at us, and us doing the same moves over and over to defeat, to, to defeat them, so... Get it! Oh, that was awesome! Did you see? I think you saw Eddie's eyes in his mouth. That's You've cool. earned some small measure of my respect. And I hope learned your lesson. The lesson is, we do not like being the target! <laughs> of course you don't. And that burning in your chest, that would be... Uh, indigestion. That would be regret. The most hmm. overused human seasoning. I'm curious, because like Venom, he said he cured Venom, but then yet he instantly flicked it back on. So, much, so clearly he still has a leash around Venom. Go. Find what you seek, where it all began. Now, eradicate the vampire threat, or join me in limbo forever! <sighs> you do not dare! Right, off you go. I don't know why I bother. <laughs> I mean... I don't like Mephisto as, like, a comedic type. Um, I always think if you're going to do the devil, you should portray him, like, really horrific and make him scary. Uh, but, you know, it's Marvel. <laughs> they can't really, they don't really know how to do that or won't do that. Um, but, you know, this does tie into Magic's backstory because she mentioned that Mephisto was someone she interacted with in Limbo as well before she became the princess of it or during her time as a princess of it. So that does kind of tie it all back together, I guess, to the main story, too. All right. Mission accomplished. Thanks, Tink Top. Oh, we got to go talk to Peter Parker. Oh, he's right here. Good. How convenient. Hey, you mind checking in with Eddie? Whatever happened with Mephisto has him especially bummed. Huh. Why not talk to him yourself? Uh, because I want him to cheer up. Of course. <laughs> I will speak I mean, I guess that's him. a good point. But you guys shook Thanks. hands and everything. Oh, and I mean, I know it doesn't, you I can't asked. be friends overnight, but... Wouldn't want to spoil his mood any further. <sighs> All right, that's fair. Let me go pet Charlie. Wait, what? No, no, no. Charlie was in the background here. What the F, bro? Since Johnny Blaze Where's my Charlie girl? Riders, does that make him Robbie's rough around the edges spirit of vengeance uncle? So no Eddie here, no Eddie here, no Eddie here. We all have skeletons in our closet. Eddie might actually have skeletons. Ghost Riders over stomach. there. Respect. You What's seem up, Eddie? frustrated. If you need to vent, I could hold the punching bag while you hit it. <laughs> nah, I can't take everything out on Peter. That is not <laughs> what I. Yeah, I know what you meant. Oh. Sorry, Hunter. Didn't mean to bite your head off. Honestly, well, luckily I feel you like didn't I'm the one off. who's getting used as a punching bag right now. Mephisto is getting to you. <laughs> For starters, yeah. yeah. Don't forget about Lilith. And with these vampires, feels like everyone's forming a line. Yeah, that does kind of feel like that. So many Your threats all at controlled once. Controlled me. She took away my free will. Now Mephisto has me under his thumb. I'm tired of being someone's puppet. You are angry, and you should be. Channel it. That's right. Use it to fuel the battles ahead. Yeah, I got no shortage of fuel, so don't worry. But I get your point. Come on, man. I'm trying to level My with you. Is a great companion, but I do wish me to think the symbiote was there up. talking too. You know, I always um, thought of myself some of the fun as about the Venom protector. movie and Venom as a character in general if it means protecting is the, the duality. You know, it's like the, the no odd couple relationship between Eddie and the suit. Sounds so I like wouldn't the only mind. Thing left I wouldn't mind the suit. Mephisto not to mess you know, with the popping up sons. like over his shoulder, <sighs> talking, or even if you just heard the voice like they do in the movie. Board with that. But I just kind of wish we were you know, getting a little bit more thinking about that already. Experience with both of them, of the or interactions with both of them. Spear of Perseus. And, uh, not the fabled hero who and then there's Eddie in the a, Deadpool, the you know, Captain America Macedonian superhero pose, and he's just standing like that the whole conversation. Like, I, I do wish they did a little bit of a better job uh, making like these that? characters uh, might kill Mephisto. less <laughs> NPC-looking <laughs> in their movements um, in conversation. 
What happened Perseus to Perseus? Perseus was invincible. What happened to him? Oh, his territory was eventually conquered by the Romans. But I'm sure that's only because the spear had been stolen before then. You really believe a blade like this still exists? Well, yeah, it's indestructible. It's gotta be somewhere. Let's talk to an we expert speak first. should to Caretaker or Doctor Strange. I'm sure they could offer details about the spear you would find enlightening. Are you saying that I can't trust my own sources? Those party poopers are just telling me that chasing after the spear is a fool's errand. But, okay, I see what you're getting at. I'm taking the screwball approach to things like I always do. Yeah, man, check your sources. Still Remember last time something. you didn't? <laughs> Give me some time <laughs> to think. Sick burn, bro. All right, well... We're here to help you, Eddie, man. That's why we're, you're on the team, and that's why we got you here. We invited you here. But you can't be acting like old school Eddie. You gotta... You're gonna have to level with us, dude. Johnny so, Doctor Strange. Doctor, are you familiar with the Spear of Perseus? Hunter, please. I'm getting a bit old for children's fables, don't you think? <laughs> okay. Okay, so it is just a story? The Spear isn't a real magical artifact? <laughs> no. Far from it. In fact, oh. the Spear of Perseus is really a misnomer. What do you mean? Well, the Spear of Perseus isn't a physical blade. It's a military tactic. Perseus used to arrange ah, his soldiers right. into a spear-like formation on the battlefield. Okay. That right, he had all of his men legend in an about arrow a supernatural shape. weapon came centuries later. Right, okay. I see. I just talked to Eddie, and he is convinced the spear is real. He hopes to hunt it down to use it against Mephisto. Hey, maybe Eddie's oh, right, by though. By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I hope he enjoys chasing wild geese, because that is what oh. he is about to do. Great. Doctor, knowing Eddie, <laughs> I worry he might find something that he believes is actually magical. Yeah, I'm worried about that too now. <laughs> Whatever he finds is all but guaranteed to be a chintzy replica, likely ripped from the museum But hey, what if he's right? Shop. I mean, who knows? I am sure Mephisto will enjoy using it I mean, it sure, I think Doctor Strange stretcher. would know about it, but hey, Indeed. everyone has a blind spot. Let's hope Eddie gets bored with this. I'm just trying to give Eddie the benefit happens. of the doubt. Um, all right, well, let's go talk to Peter here then. You talk to Eddie? How's he doing? We're best friends now. <laughs> uh, Encounters with wild animals go smoother. Ah, sounds about right. Eddie has more in common with a honey badger than he'd like to admit. He needs time to recover, but it seems he will be all right. I sure, hope. but how do I put this delicately? I'm concerned his emotions will get the better of him. How so? That's well, valid. Eddie was always an emotional tornado, but the symbiote doesn't help. It feeds off his emotions, enhances them. Eddie's feelings are not his own? Oh, they are, but they're amplified, sometimes to a okay. dangerous degree. Take it from me, the symbiote can really wind your gears. All right, well, he needs our support. Eddie will have an easier time taming his impulses if he feels like part of the team. You're right about that. I hope the rest of the team can be patient with him while he adjusts. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him. If he stops acting like the Eddie I know, you'll be the first to hear it. Cool. All right. Increased our friendship with Peter as well. Well done. All right, so that brings us to Robbie. another conclusion. Don't want him picking up because this is a good place to stop. We've done a lot, and I'm going to have to edit this down to like a 30-minute video, so I'll do the best I can. So thank you for everyone who watched, and I uh, hope you're enjoying this little side quest with Eddie Brock and me narrating over it and talking over it. Um, I will bring more episodes to you very, very soon because I'll probably keep playing tonight just to try to finish out. I think there's typically three missions with the DLCs, so that means we should only have one left as far as I know. So uh, I'll probably keep playing tonight, but for now, this is a good place to end this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts of this, what you've seen here so far, down in the comments below. And definitely come back for our next episode, possibly for the conclusion of this DLC. I don't know for sure, but we'll, you know, maybe. You know, maybe one episode left or two. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. So thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.